Here. Paul, what are you doing? I am sick of this. I am sick of everything. I am sick of you holding this surgical consent form over my head. You want to sign it, you sign it. Come on, Emily, let's just get this over with. Go ahead. Say goodbye to your child. You might get what you want. Oh, don't. I can't have her holding strings over our heads anymore, okay? It's not fair to me. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to this baby. I have done everything I can to reassure her about this baby, but she doesn't care about this child. All you care about is sticking it to me. Well, that's enough. I've had enough. Go ahead, sign the paper. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Come on. Let's go. Fine. Fine. That's what you want. I can't do it. I can't sign away my baby's life. Not for you, not for me, not for anyone. You win. You did the right thing. This is what's best for everybody. You and me, but especially this baby. And you know what? I'm glad we're finally being honest with each other. I know that this is not an ideal situation, but Emily, we have to make the best of what we do. No, no, you, you are, you are, you are, you're making the best of it. I don't have a choice. You had a choice. You had a choice and you just made your choice, Emily. All right, and we both know that you got what you wanted, all right? You love this baby already, I know you do. Give her a glass of water. All right, look, you know what? I'm gonna talk to Jessica and I'm gonna have her draw up some papers, okay? You and I should settle this custody battle before this baby is even born. And I know what a huge sacrifice this is. And you need to know that Meg and I will devote the rest of our lives to making sure that this little boy or this little girl is happy. Good. You always managed to come on top. How do you do that? This isn't about me, Emily. This is about the child getting the life that the child deserves. Look, Meg and I are going to make sure that you and the baby get whatever you need. Oh, you don't need to take care of me or my baby, and it is still my baby until the date is born. So why don't you and your girlfriend go find someone else to torture? Emily, I want you to know that Paul and I will respect your privacy. That's a promise. And if there's anyone you want to talk to, I am willing to put the past behind us for the child's sake. Oh, aren't you, Miss Generosity? Just think about it. I'll be helping to raise this baby, and I think it would be better if you and I could talk. No, you may. You may get custody, but you and I will never be friends, and I will make sure my child knows why. Emily, why don't you get some rest? You okay? She's giving up her child, Paul. That can't be easy. No. Then again, do you really want to have Emily as your mother? Another time, another place, who knows? You're amazing. <laughs> another reason to love you. Look at you, you're gonna forgive the woman who caused you so much grief. I'm really lucky. We're gonna be parents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and me and baby makes three. <laughs> So glad it's finally over. You know, right up until the very end, it felt like it could have gone either way. Yeah. Tell me about it. So, how'd you know she backed down? I didn't. What are you saying? You didn't know what she was gonna do? 
you were willing to put your child's life at risk? I had to insist that we just settle things. You know, if I didn't, Emily would have fought for custody of this kid until it was like 18 years old. And what kind of life is that for a kid? Or for you and me? I just... I had to settle things. What if she decided to terminate the pregnancy? I mean, she was an inch away from signing those papers, Paul. What would you have done? So, if Emily called your bluff and signed those papers, what would you have done? I don't know. I just couldn't take any more of her manipulations, you know? And taking everything out on you. I know she's done a lot of things before, but... I guess I just kind of reached critical mass. I wasn't even thinking about the consequences. I just... No more, you know? No more. We got lucky, though, didn't we? I mean, it's a good thing she backed down. <sighs> but what if she hadn't? Then what? I don't know. We would have figured it out. Here's what I know. I know I want to be a father. And I know I want to raise a child with you. And we would have found a way. Yeah, we would have found a way. You know, you, you give me courage. It's because of you I was brave enough to call her bluff. Do you have any idea how much I love you? Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom said no balls at the pool. This isn't a ball, this is a beach ball. I'm sorry. No problem. No balls, no beach balls, and no pool if you don't cut it out. And what are they supposed to do, Miriam? Play chess? Oh, and who's going to teach them, Mr. Too Busy to Spend Two Seconds? Hey! <sighs> I give up. Promise me. Never gonna happen. Never. Well, Hey, stranger. Hey, Mama. <laughs> hey, uh, I've been staying at Paul's. Did you get my message on the machine? Yeah, I got it. So, you're back. What happened? Did he, uh, did he kick you out, or did you just come to your senses? Well, neither yet. She's still madly in love with me. You know, I've given her a million reasons to run away. Mm -hmm. Isn't that charming? I'm afraid the time is long gone since you could charm me, Paul Ryan. Mama. Not too long ago, you were in my kitchen crying your eyes out over this man. What's changed? Well, we have a baby to consider now, Paul's baby. Well, we're going to raise it together. Oh, I see. Well, how does, uh, how does Emily feel about that? Well, she's agreed, which has made things easier. But either way, she's going to be locked up for a long time, so... Emily's not an issue. No, she's not an issue. She's a person. And you haven't answered my question. You're okay, sweetie. Oh, you took How did it go? I mean, are you in pain? No. No, not really. It's very brave of you to want to donate the stem cells, but I think we've all jumped the gun here. This stuff is very experimental. I've been trying to explain to Emily that most of this work hasn't even been approved yet outside of clinical trials. It can be done. Susan, it can be done as part of a study. Of course, the physician who was running the studies would have to be present for the treatment. It would take a lot of paperwork and waivers, and I have to get a clearance from the hospital board. How long does it take? Well, this is an emergency. I think with a conference call, we could do it tonight. That's great. That's Wait a morning. second. This isn't settled. Yes, it is. Well, listen, I'll start the ball rolling, and we'll be ready either way. Thanks, Doc. Bob, I've decided. Can I see you two outside? No. Mother, whatever you have to say, say it in front of me. Do you hear her? Do you know what she's trying to do? She's trying to earn the right to be in the room, to be treated like a human being. But her baby could die. Bottom line,
That's the risk she's taking. She could sacrifice her baby to buy your forgiveness. Now, is that what you want? We want our son to live. So do I. And if this weren't so experimental, maybe I would feel differently. But uh, there are no guarantees. What if it doesn't work? Susan, this could be his only hope. But what if Emily's baby dies and Johnny still isn't cured? That's a very real possibility here. Everybody loses. And Emily has to live with the fact that she gave up her baby's life for nothing. Mom, Mom. Emily, you don't have to do this. You've got a choice here. You can change your mind. Emily? Could you just, just go? Will you all just please go? Please. Tell you how Emily feels about Meg and I raising her baby. Oh, Mama, that's not fair. I'm sure that that is just the way Emily feels. I can't answer that question. Look, I'm sure a part of her hates it. I'm sure she's sad. I'm sure she's angry. But she knows that this is the way it has to be. She's accepted it. Oh, I see. I see. Well, I have chores. Listen, wait, hold on, please. I know that you're worried about Meg. Oh, and I bet you know why, huh? I mean, standing right here in this barn. Yes, and he's willing to stand here and beg for a chance, so the least you could do is... What I'm trying to say, my sweetheart, is that he's no stranger to this farm. He knows his way around this farm, don't you, Paul? Yes, I do. Yes, he does. I mean, after all, he spent an awful lot of time here trying to convince Rosanna Cabot that you loved her. Yes, I did. Mm. Mama, that's cruel. Not quite. Look, you've seen my mistakes firsthand. And I only hope that you're here to see me get it right. Because I've learned. You know, Meg and I would love your blessing. It means a lot to both of us. Just give us a chance. Or at least a break for once. C can you do that? Yeah. All right, look, I, I know that you mortgaged the farm to help pay Meg's legal bills. And I know that you wouldn't take it when she tried to pay you back. And all of that trouble is because of me. Please. Emma, take this and pay, pay back the mortgage. Oh, you think you can buy me off? <laughs> oh, my dear, dear man, you just think again. I told you she wouldn't take it. What? Emma, please, it's only fair. I'm going to tell you what I told my daughter, Meg, here when she offered me that money. I don't need it, and I don't want it. Why are you being so spiteful when I'm finally happy? Oh, oh. You're happy? Yeah, I, I was until I came here. Mm -hmm. Paul loves me, and yes, I am happy. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, the last time I heard that it was Dusty, when you were happy and in love forever. Well, he loves somebody else. Can't you see that's different, Mama? <laughs> Paul's not waiting or wishing for anybody else. It's me, finally. I'm the one. Yes, well, that's the way it should always be. You should be the one. Th that's right. I didn't settle this time. A and I know things aren't perfect, but it's real. We're gonna raise his child, and I'll be a mom, and you could be the baby's grandma. Please, this child needs you. We need you. Just be happy for me. Like, sweetheart, if you say you're happy, I'll... I'll try and be happy for you, but... Please, don't ask me to forget what I know about this man. Can you at least leave some room to, to get to know him a little bit more? Look, uh, you two finish up out here and you just call me when you're finished because I didn't uh, milk share today and I've, I've got to milk it before I go to bed. There's a cow named Cher. <sighs> yeah, mean old heifer. There's a joke in there somewhere. I just can't think of it. That was pretty intense with you and your mom. Yeah, she and I could go at it pretty good, even before you came around. Right, but now it's even more special. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll get her on our side. I'm used to her disapproval. Well, forget you then. I'll get her on my side because I know the other options for this baby in the grandmother department. 
think so. I know so. Mm. I'll do whatever I have to. Um, I hope you mean that. You know, milking share is Mama's worst chore for the summer. So you get this down, and you're not going to be just a tourist in her barn. Okay. You, you gotta tell me how to come at it. Well, I, I, I wouldn't stand back there. You're right in the line of fire. So uh, just That's, come over this way. That's helpful. <laughs> okay, just take it slow, okay? Not so eager. Well, I thought you liked that. Oh, well, you're dealing with Cher now. She takes hard to get to a whole new level. So, first, we have to wash her teats. Okay. You know, I always said I'd do anything for you. Mm -hmm. Now I know what that means. <laughs> That's milk. <laughs> I did that because I'm the master. I am the farmer in the dell. Yeah. Whoa, what's this? I did a lot, didn't I? Need a little break. Worked <laughs> well, really hard. Yeah, well, I think Cher's going to get jealous. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> Mama, look, Paul got Cher oh, to cooperate. Really? Can you believe it? Fine, fine, fine. That's good. Look, Paul, I, I just had some news from Kim Hughes. What? It's Johnny. He's sick. There's a chance he might not be able to make it through the night. Hey. Oh, she's coming around. <laughs> it's Mom. Open your eyes. Come on. Emily, it's over. My baby is fine. You both did a great job. Hi. They're prepping Johnny right now for his surgery, and then um, we'll, we'll go when they're ready. Bob says everything went well. And we gave my son the best chance he could get. I'm glad, Jennifer. Thank you. And you're going to give your baby a brand new start in life. They both have to rest, though. Of course. Let me know how it goes, okay? We heard about John. Yeah, how, how is he? Mama said it was serious, but she didn't know the diagnosis. Is, is there anything you need? Well, a few hours ago, that was a pretty big list. Um, but I think he's... Looks like he's gonna... be better. Yeah, the odds are pretty good he's gonna make it. Make it. Yeah. It was that bad. But now, hopefully, Johnny will survive. Thanks to Emily. Thank <laughs> you.